What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel OP Air Ricks Fame Fam, and today we will do a little update on this. This is our bottle caps or bottle lids, you know, whatever, of the monster energies that I have drank. We have, I have drank eight of them, eight and a half technically, but you know, whatever. So basically, we got this one number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This one was on the vacation, and this one is our new one from a tea. It was tea flavored, and this one's juice on the vacation little trip thing, you know? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then there's a ton of black ones, like, on a bunch of them. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, you know? A little update for y'all. But right now, we're gonna be reading a book. <laughs> This is the book. <laughs> My dude, a train? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, we're at the table. It's my little coffee table, I guess. Instead of the little pink bed cover, because I got a new bed cover, and I changed my bed, you know? So it wouldn't look as good if it was on that color because pink is pretty gnarly <sighs> yeah boom it is up boom pretty cool uh, let's go get right into this I guess it's pretty cool wow hundreds of balloons lifted wait what Nothing happened, uh, don't, uh, uh, Carl, Carl Fredrickson lived alone in a little wooden house. He spent his days with his memories of his wife, Ellie. You can even see it, it's like a face, and then it's a little tree thing, and then there's Ellie, I guess, and that's Carl Fredrickson. Um, it changed, uh, but all around him, things were changing. People wanted Carl to leave his house so they could put up more buildings. So Carl came up with a plan. Oh, this pretty cool house and stuff. Oof. <sighs> Hundreds of balloons lifted Carl's house into the air. He had tied the balloons to the house so that he could fly away. <sighs> up, up, up. Oh, it's pretty cool. <sighs> Carl steered the house south. He was heading for Paradise Falls in South America. His wife, Ellie, had always wanted to go there. Oh, look at that farm. It's multicolored and cool. Suddenly, Carl heard a sound. Knock, knock, knock. Carl opened the door. A boy named Russell was on the front porch. Like it or not, Carl had company for his trip. Oh, look at those badges, boy. Ooh, the flag. Mm, look at that hand. Lit. Oh, W. Russell was a junior wilderness explorer. He had earned badges for fishing, camping, and many, many other things. Ooh, look at that lobster. Wait, well, this legit fishing. Ooh, look at that tent. Ooh, look at that trumpet or whatever, you know? Ooh, look at that music note with that iguana or something. Wow, lizard and amphibian. Whatever. In fact, he had earned every badge there was, except for the assisting the elderly badge. That's pretty cool, whatever. So Russell held on tight. The house flew through a storm. It flew through fog. Then, crash! The house bumped on the ground. Carl and Russell rolled off the porch. Carl 
boat barely managed to catch the house before it floated away. In the distance, Carl could see Paradise Falls. Falls. He and Russell would have to walk to the falls, pulling the house behind them with a long garden hose. Woo woo woo. On the way to the falls, Russell found weird tracks in the mud. They belonged to a bird, a strange, huge, colorful bird. Russell named the bird Kevin. Ooh. It was bad enough that Carl had to put up with a junior wilderness explorer. He didn't need a huge bird to... Scram, Carl said. Kevin followed them anyway. <laughs> Kevin wasn't the only odd creature they met. Next, Carl and Russell found a dog. Hi there, said the dog. My name is Doug. Carl and Russell were shocked. The dog can could talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doug was on a mission to bring the bird to his master, but Carl promised Russell that he would protect Kevin. And as in return, Kevin was a mother. And as it turned out, Kevin was a mother. She had baby birds waiting for her at home. Nothing was going the way Carl has had planned. He now had a floating house, a talking dog, a junior wilderness explorer, and a huge bird. Whatever happened to being alone? with just his house and his memories of Ellie. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's on one foot. Or if something I do, it's pretty cool. Oh, no. Bark, bark, bark. Next morning... Three fierce dogs burst from the bushes. They surrounded Carl, Russell, and Doug. Like Doug, the dogs had been sent on a mission to find a bird. Luckily, Kevin was hiding. The dogs took Carl and Russell to their master, Charles Muntz. Carl found out that Muntz had spent years trying to capture the bird. Mmm, it's, it's pretty cool. They, they, they are pretty cool. There's nothing on that slate. Carl remembered his promise to Russell. He had to protect Kevin and get her back to her babies. Doug helped them escape. But months caught them. He took Carl's house and set it on fire. In the end, in the end, Carl let months take Kevin so he could save his house. He loved it too much to let it burn. He let months take Kevin. Oh, oh this bad boy. Carl made it to wait what did I skip a page nah that was legit Carl made it to Paradise Falls but he felt lonely in his empty house so with Russell and Doug's help Carl went back and rescued Kevin woo but 
this time, Carl could not save his house. It fell down, down, down. But that was okay. Carl, Carl might have lost his house, but he still had his memories of Ellie. And he also had friends. Uh, such a legit story. Oh. Yeah, I guess it was it, everyone. So, uh, uh, sorry about the little background noises. There was a train, there's cars passing through, and then there's subtle noises, I guess. But, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's a pretty cool story that was up. I mean, like, some of the details were not exactly finished, like, what months did and stuff like that but you know we just read the other book i have the other book over here and then there's a lot of books and stuff some manga and stuff Ooh, and there's the update on those things on the counter the little small table whatever my dude i mean whatever y'all so yeah i guess that is everyone so uh uh, like if you like, subscribe if you're new, and if that subscription button is red, that means you're not subscribed yet, so make sure that subscription button is not red, and comment down, comment down below what more content you would like to see from my channel, and yeah, I guess that is everyone, so uh, um, uh, um, uh, keep it living, e